All right, what's up, guys? It's your boy Tim again, uh, once again, with another uh, rebooking wrestling video. This is like the eighth time I tried to make this video. I'm going to try to make this a lot more short and sweet. I was getting pretty heavy on dates and details and stuff. I'm just going to get right to it. <clears throat> if you know the whole Marty Jannetty and Shawn Michaels uh, breakup story of uh, early 1992, um, they break up the barbershop window. Shawn Michaels goes on to have a successful solo career, one of the best of all time. Marty Jannetty got himself in a bunch of trouble, and the uh, feud never really worked out the way that it should have. They did meet up down the road, but you know, didn't work out like it should have. So this is my idea of rebooking it. Had everything been on the straight and narrow, Marty stayed good, stayed healthy, and stayed involved, using all the same dates and characters uh, for the events and stuff like that. So we'll see what we can do, you know, uh, differently, you know, booking wise, what we could have done. All right, first off, you got the barbershop window. That was uh, on a, in January of 1992. Keep that exactly the same. No need to change that. One of the best breakup angles of all time. Uh, then the 1992 rumble happens. Keep it the same thing. Marty Jannetty missed the uh, 92 rumble, selling the injury to the face. Shawn Michaels goes over the top rope with uh, Tito Santana. And then in, that, in real life, Jannetty got in trouble right after that. So Sean goes with Tito for WrestleMania, and then we he was off to the races. Um, but I'm going to have it so uh, the 92 Rumble happens, and instead of Marty getting in trouble, he returns before WrestleMania 8. And at WrestleMania 8, we get the match we should have had that everybody always talks about. Shawn Michaels versus Marty Jannetty at WrestleMania 8, the big blow-off to their feud. You know, it's coming from January... WrestleMania 8 was in April. You have that time to build it. And uh, in the WrestleMania match, you have Shawn Michaels uh, win, though, which is, uh, which is important. That starts him going towards that more main event run and Marty being maybe more of a sympathetic uh, babyface type thing. All right. Uh, then the next uh, pay-per-view you got after that, uh, Shawn Michaels in actuality uh, wrestled Rick the Model Martel in the Don't Punch Me in the Face match. We're going to keep that the same. I'm going to have Marty Jannetty rebook, though, uh, in the Virgil spot to wrestle Nails. Unfortunately, uh, WrestleMania 8 here, or, or I mean, SummerSlam 92 here. This gets Jannetty on the card, at least, at Wembley in front of everybody in actuality. Uh, he missed it. He wasn't there. So this gets him here, even if he gets beat by Nails. And they were sort of trying to push Nails at the time. So that would have been still a good, solid win for him. Unfortunately, it didn't pan out uh, for his future. Next, we got uh, Shawn Michaels wins the Intercontinental title from the British Bulldog at Saturday night. Main event. Keep that exactly the same. So now we're starting in, Dece uh, in uh, January of 92. And the, the Saturday night main event that Shawn Michaels wins the Intercontinental title from happens in October of 92. And it doesn't air until November of 92. But, so we're, this is where end of the 92 year. We're going to keep that exactly the same. British Bulldog goes to do a superplex on Michaels off the top ropes. Michaels lands on top uh, of it, though, kind of counters it and gets the three count, and he wins the Intercontinental title. Now, the next pay-per-view after that would be Survivor Series 92. In actuality, it was Shawn Michaels uh, versus Bret Hart, Intercontinental title versus world title in the main event. We're going to keep that exactly the same. I'm not going to rebook that. But in the, uh, in the main event... Uh, Shawn Michaels just ends up losing to Brett. Uh, I believe it's a uh, sharpshooter's submission. In this, I'm going to maybe have Marty interfere. Just some sort of interfere. They haven't really touched each other or been feuding, Marty and Shawn, since WrestleMania, which was, uh, you know, again of April. So maybe they've split apart. But now here's Marty coming back, does a little, uh, you know, something in the crowd or something to give Brett the, uh, the, the win. Which in turn, then the next pay-per-view is Royal Rumble 93. Now they're going to rematch. Now Shawn Michaels is still the Intercontinental Champion. He's held it since uh, October of the following year. Now it's January of 93. Um, they actually did wrestle at Royal Rumble 93. Um, <clears throat> and Shawn Michaels wins the match. Uh, yeah, Shawn Michaels wins the match. Um... <clears throat> but in this case, I'm going to have it be for the Intercontinental title, and I'm going to have Marty win the Intercontinental title here. So in this rebooking story, this is where Marty Jannetty wins the Intercontinental title, not 
on Raw, you know, down the road here. So now Rumble 93. Oh, and uh, Sherry Martel, in actuality, did side with Marty uh, in this match. I'm going to do the same thing. She splits with Sean. Sherry sides, sides with Marty. Again, here we are, Raw Rumble 93. Marty Jannetty beats Shawn Michaels for the first time for the Intercontinental title. And that starts his Intercontinental title run. WrestleMania 9 is the next pay-per-view after that. We're gonna, it was HBK versus Tatanka for the Intercontinental title in, in uh, actuality. We're going to keep that match the same, just not for the Intercontinental title anymore. And I'm going to have Marty defend the Intercontinental title against Doink. He was also at the pay-per-view that year. He wrestled Crutch. He had the feud with Crush, which was a non-title sort of side feud. But as we know, Marty and uh, this original Doink, the Matt Bourne Doink, had a great uh, match against each other on Raw uh, in the following year of this. So we know we could get a good, solid match out of them. Let's make, uh, I don't know, they could build something towards it and have uh, Marty against Doink and be another just great, solid, technical, uh, chain wrestling maybe type match. I think that would work. Um, and uh, you have an HBK beat Tatanka maybe by, you know, count out or, or vice versa, whatever. But Marty keeps his title against Doink for WrestleMania. The following pay-per-view is King of the Ring 93, the first King of the Ring pay-per-view they did. I'm going to have Marty defending that Intercontinental title. Uh, in actuality, uh, Sean defended the Intercontinental title against Crush, Kona Crush. I'm going to have Marty defending the title against... Narcissus Lex Luger in a classic small guy versus little guy match. They were both good at that. Marty was wrestling, good at wrestling bigger guys. Luger was wrestling, good at wrestling smaller guys. So let's have them have a good match against each other. Something happens and, and Marty keeps his title. And then I'm also going to have Shawn Michaels swap now and be in the Luger spot where him and Tatanka get a double disqualification. I think in the... Uh, in the actual tournament, Luger and Tatanka had a double count out or a, a double DQ, and that forced a, a buy into the next round. I'm going to have just Shawn Michaels and Tatanka now in a rematch here from their uh, WrestleMania match. Here it is now. It's a quarterfinal of the uh, King of the Ring, and they do another uh, sort of double disqualification, double count out spot. All right, the pay per view to follow that SummerSlam 93. So, rematch now, I'm going to have of Shawn Michaels versus Marty for the Intercontinental title. And I'll get more into it as well. Um, this is, I'm gonna have it be for the title. They could rebook it again somehow, where uh, again, now they haven't wrestled each other since Royal Rumble of that year, which is January. Now here we are in SummerSlam of 93. SummerSlam of 93 was in August, so you got some months in between it. But again, now they're going to go for another match. This is their third, their, their big three. We split it where Sean won WrestleMania, Marty won uh, Rumble for the title, and now this is the SummerSlam, the rubber match for the Intercontinental title. I'm going to have Sean wins it back. Diesel interferes. All right, so now Sean is a two-time Intercontinental champion, and Marty held it from uh, January to August which is now, that's good runs. Now, Sean had a little bit of a run, but now Sean's a two-time champ, which back then meant something. Marty had a nice little run. Marty got a couple of pay-per-view defenses, got to be on these pay-per-views that he missed in actuality. You know, he missed WrestleMania 9. Um, he missed King of the Ring 93. Uh, you know, so th these are ones that will get him back on to, get him those paychecks, you know. Now Sean's the Intercontinental Champion again. The following pay-per-view is Survivor Series 93 now. Now, all I did here was swap Shawn Michaels onto the IRS team, which they had Rick the Model Martell on. You can swap and get Rick the Model Martell off of that team, right? Let me go back to it a little bit. Hold up. Um, at that match... You got, uh, you had Adam Bomb, Diesel, IRS, and Rick Martell. I'm just gonna make it Adam Bomb, Diesel, IRS, and Shawn Michaels. It makes a lot more sense to have Shawn Michaels on the team with Diesel and with IRS, who was having the problems with Razor Ramon. And you keep Janetti right where he was. It's one, two, three, kid, Janetti, 
Randy Savage and Razor. And then I would swap Rick Martell to the Shawn Michaels spot and just have Rick Martell be the guy that took Jerry Lawler's place. And it's Rick Martell. I'm sure they could work something with Lawler and Martell because they were both pretty good heels. Um, Martell does the Knights thing, and you don't have to worry about that. Now Shawn Michaels is on the Survivor Series team, which makes a lot more sense. And whatever, you still keep it to where uh, I believe they had uh, the, the winner was uh, one two three Kid and Jannetty. Keep it exactly the same thing. I love that they had Marty Jannetty win in real life a couple times at uh, Survivor Series. That was really the one time Vince gave him a good rub was uh, Survivor Series pay-per-views. All right. So you keep that the same. So now Marty does, he's not the Intercontinental title, but him and the kid just win Survivor Series. All right, now the next spot after that is the Royal Rumble uh, 94. I'm going to have that be uh, Shawn Michaels versus Razor Ramon for the Intercontinental title. And in actuality, um, uh, Razor Ramon was against IRS for the for the Intercontinental title in this, but now since Sean is the champion in this rebooking situation I got going on, Sean is going against Razor now instead, and uh, he is Sean is keeping the title. So Sean against Razor, but Sean cheats or does something. Sean keeps the belt. You have Marty in the Rumble. Uh, Marty uh, was. But Marty was in the Rumble 94 in actuality anyway, so you just keep him in there. He does his thing. He doesn't win it, but he's at least in there. Okay? Uh, now the next pay-per-view after that Rumble is WrestleMania 10. In actuality, in real life, you had Shawn Michaels and Razor in the ladder match. Historic. One of the best of all time. I'm going to keep that exactly the same. So in the, in the pay-per-view before, Marty or Shawn cheats somehow, whatever, keeps the title against Razor. Now they got the two belts thing going on, maybe. Now they got the, or even if not, now they just got the ladder involved. And this is where Razor finally wins. Now Razor gets his first Intercontinental title. And uh, instead of, uh, Marty missed WrestleMania 10, but I'm going to rebook him and have it be uh, Marty Jannetty versus Adam Bomb. In actuality, Adam Bomb wrestled Earthquake, I want to say. Yeah, Adam Bomb wrestled the Earthquake in a 35-minute squash, a 35-second squash match. So here, again, we're going to go that route. Marty's the little guy versus the big guy. And Adam Bomb had been on that Survivor Series team that he had wrestled previously, so they'll have some uh, maybe time together. So I'll rebook it and have Marty versus uh, Adam Bomb for WrestleMania 10. And let's just say Marty wins. All right. Um, they had uh, Earthquake going over Adam Bomb anyway, so you might as well. All right, now the following pay-per-view after that is King of the Ring 94. All right, uh, I'm going to have it be uh, Shawn Michaels versus Bret Hart for the world title. That's what I have written down. Let me confirm. In actuality, it was Diesel for... Diesel with Shawn Michaels against Bret Hart, and he wins by disqualification, right? I'm instead going to have it be HBK with Diesel against Bret for the world title, and loses by disqualification, and Marty Jannetty takes the 1-2-3 kid spot, which means that he loses to Owen Hart in the semifinal. Uh, you know, 1-2-3 kid beat Jeff Jarrett, and then went on to lose to Owen. I would have maybe Marty do the same thing, beat Jeff Jarrett in the quarterfinal, and then you could have Marty versus Owen. That would have been a great uh, semifinal, you know, maybe still even four-minute match that they would do. All right. And then this is, uh, that's King of the Ring 94. Now the following pay-per-view after that, you got SummerSlam 94. Here I got Razor and Marty Jannetty, versus HBK and Diesel. And this is where we start to see the HBK and Diesel split. You could still maybe even have Diesel versus Brett at the King of the Ring, let's say. 
with uh, and still doing the disqualification thing. So that, and you know maybe HBK messes it up for him. Maybe Diesel messes it up for HBK. But then let's think about this. At SummerSlam '94, you got Razor and Marty together. Razor's the Intercontinental Champion. Marty's still been going strong this whole time, having great solid matches. You know, inter former Intercontinental Champion against a team like <coughs> HBK and Diesel, great star power. We have Razor and Marty win. HBK and uh, Diesel maybe start to split up. All right. The following pay per view after that. You got Survivor Series 94. Um, Survivor Series 94. I'm going to have Marty take the British Bulldog spot. And by that, I mean he's on the team with 123 Kid, Razor Ramon, and the head shrinkers, the new head shrinkers at the time, you know. Uh, which makes, and I like British Bulldog, I replaced him a couple times in this, and I feel bad, but uh, it, it makes sense to me. You, you put Marty on that team now, so it's Marty and the 123 Kid and Razor, they got that history together, and they're against Diesel, Jeff Jarrett, Jim Neidhart, Owen Hart, and Shawn Michaels. We're keeping that exactly the same. That makes so much sense for Marty to be on the team. Marty should have been on that team. And then this is where you actually have the breakup. Um, yeah, that, so uh, you have, uh, yeah, that's, this is the actual breakup. Just like in real life, they split. Diesel won the world title the next night. Um, but that's where you keep that. So, uh, and then even in actuality, I believe uh, the winner was Razor Ramon. So we could keep that the same. Let's say even if Marty doesn't survive and 123Kid doesn't survive, or maybe it's Razor, Marty, and 123Kid, whatever. Um, but you still have them go over as the team. All right, now Rumble 95. Here's where it gets a little interesting, too. I'm going to have it stay exactly the same, where HBK goes the distance one through number 30, and he wins. But I swapped the Bulldog spot with Marty Jannetty again. Now you got Marty Jannetty's number two and Sean's number one. They go the whole rumble. Can you imagine that? Again, this should have been the feud of the 90s. It should have been the new generation's, you know, new feud, the new chain wrestling, high-flying, karate kicks, aerial moves, Tiger Mask versus Dynamite. You got them. They go the whole rumble together. Marty thinks he wins. Now Marty's going to get his shot at the world title. And let's say we even had... Sean go against, you know, that couple of times already against Brett and stuff. Uh, now Marty's going to get his shot, but no, Sean comes back in. He only had one foot. Now he knocks Marty over, and now Sean's going on to WrestleMania. So that's how I booked that. Um, WrestleMania 10, you got Diesel beats Shawn Michaels, just like in real life. They had, they had his first pay-per-view. Diesel's the champion. He beat Bob Backlund. Uh, he beats Sean in the pay-per-view. Uh, Sean's got Sid in his corner. What about Diesel's got Marty in his corner for the main event? You know, you don't have to worry about uh, Marty wrestling or anything. But you got Diesel and Marty now, and you got Sean and Sid. All right. Uh, then the next pay per view was In Your House One. Uh, they both missed it in real life. I'm going to keep that the same. Just give them the time off. They've already been working a lot of matches. <clears throat> you got King of the Ring '95 <clears throat> is the pay per view after that. In actuality, Shawn Michaels uh, loses. Shawn Michaels and Kama go to a double disc, a double count out, double DQ type where they both lose, uh, draw finish. Uh, here, I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to have Marty is the reason that causes the double DQ, and this is where Marty Jannetty turns heel. Now, finally, after all this time, Shawn Michaels is a face now. Now, Shawn Michaels turns face after WrestleMania 10, just like in real life, because Sid beats him up. Then they both miss in your house one because Sean's beat up. Now here it is, King of the Ring 95. It's the next pay-per-view. He's a face. Marty, though, doesn't like it anymore. And Marty beats him up. Something happens. Double DQ. Marty's a heel now. Now in your house two, I got uh, same thing. Shawn Michaels wins the Intercontinental title just like he did in real life. Beats uh, Jeff Jarrett for it. Uh, and I'm going to have Marty as a heel lumberjack in the... Um, in the main event. There was a Lumberjack main event. Marty's just going to be in there now. It wasn't in real life, but he's one of the bad guy Lumberjacks. 
Now, the pay-per-view after that, you got SummerSlam 95. I'm going to have Shawn Michaels beats Diesel to keep the Intercontinental title. And 123Kid beats Marty. Um, so now Shawn Michaels has the Intercontinental title, and he's a face. Diesel, at this time, should have had the world title. But he'd be a face, too. Hmm. I don't know what I wrote about that. I'd have to look back at that. That doesn't seem right. But a 1-2-3 kid, let's say we had SummerSlam 95, 1-2-3 kid versus Marty Jannetty. They, I think that would have been awesome. A face 1-2-3 kid versus a heel Marty Jannetty and then let them have a great match with each other. Um, <clears throat> In Your House 3 is the pay-per-view after that. I got Marty Jannetty beating Raiders or Ramon. We could book that now. Marty's starting to, you know beat the bigger face guys as a heel, and HBK and Diesel win the tag titles, and now they got all three belts. That's the same thing with Dudes with Attitudes they did, keeping that the same. In Your House 4, I have Razor Ramon beats uh, Marty uh, for the Intercontinental title after HBK forfeits. We basically do that whole Dean Douglas angle. We could have done that where they Sean had the uh, beat up uh, storyline or whatever has to forfeit his title they automatically give it to Marty because he just beat Razor the pay-per-view before but Razor gets the shot that night and Razor wins the title just like he did against uh, Dean Douglas so now Razor's the uh, Intercontinental Champion uh, Survivor Series 95 is the pay-per-view after that I got Diesel loses the title and turns just like he did in real life he loses to Bret Hart turns heel Okay, Marty replaces British Bulldog on the uh, wild card team. For uh, Survivor Series 95, they did the uh, wild card team. It was the first and only time they did it. Uh, and I liked the premise at the time, but I guess it could have been booked a little better. But um, I would have it Shawn Michaels, Ahmed Johnson, um, Marty Jannetty, and Psycho Sid. Right now, they're teaming again with each other for the first time in how long? Versus Yokozuna, Owen, Razor, and uh, Dean Douglas, um, and you can book that however you want it. Sean and Ahmed won in real life. I think that probably is appropriate at the time they were pushing those guys. Um, in your house five now though is the pay per view. After that, I have Razor Ramon, Savio Vega, and Shawn Michaels defeating. Marty Jannetty, Psycho Sid, and the 123 Kid. Now, by then, Marty, uh, Psycho Sid, and the 123 Kid were heels and working for Ted DiBiase. So, Marty could have joined forces with them. They all had history with each other. Savio was the new guy. I think that would have been a great match. Um, in real life, let me see what, the, what they were booked at in real life. In real life, I think it was just Ra it was Razor Ramon and Marty versus One Two Three Kid and Psycho Sid in real life, but uh, you could have booked it where you added Savio Vega. Um, he was in a dark match that night anyway, and uh, you know maybe Sean you know could have fit in there too. Whatever. Um, War Rumble '96. I keep it exactly the same where Shawn Michaels eliminates Diesel as the as his last guy and goes on to Wrestlemania and wins the Rumble for the second time in a row maybe you have Marty Jannetty in the final four uh, of the last guys eliminated as a Rumble again just to keep the heat going uh, in your house six I have Owen Hart beats Marty Jannetty or uh, Owen Hart uh, loses to Shawn Michaels yep so Shawn Michaels beats Owen Hart at in your house six and uh, Marty forms the new Rockers that was with Leaf Cassidy aka Al Snow then they start going along um the pay-per-view after that is WrestleMania 12. HBK wins the title because he won the Royal Rumble. Uh, and you keep that the same. Um, and at WrestleMania 12, uh, Marty Jannetty was... I don't... He was either with Leaf Cassidy in a tag match. Uh, no, he was not. I thought he was in it with the tag match. Yeah, so Marty Jannetty missed WrestleMania 12, but uh, here in this rebooking, uh, maybe he does, uh, maybe he misses it, maybe he doesn't. 
And then I keep that basically all the same from WrestleMania 12 all the way up to SummerSlam 96, where um, I think the new rockers could break up. In actuality, um, were they on the card? I think they might have been on the tag card. Yep, so uh, the Smoking Guns defeated the new rockers, the Godwins, and the Body Donnas here at, at SummerSlam 96. This is where I'm going to have them uh, break up. They lose this match. It's a tag title match. And they, they lose it on each other. And, they both, and they're heels at the time, too. <clears throat> and they both just beat each other up. And it's a big brawl. Maybe they go out into the crowd. They fight all the way to the back. It's got to be split up. Whatever. Now, that starts their feud. So, Sean is the world champion here. Sean, again, the same thing where he beats Vader at SummerSlam 96. We don't have to change that. That was good. Um... Now, Marty Jannetty and Leaf are starting their own program with each other. Uh, in Your House 10, right? Which I believe is the pay-per-view right after... Yep, In Your House 10 is the pay-per-view that happened right after SummerSlam 96. Now you got um, Leaf Cassidy versus Marty Jannetty. Big brawl. Again, great chain wrestling they could have put together. Great moves and stuff like that. It's a big pay-per-view spotlight. And, but you have Leaf Cassidy win because now he's doing this whole psycho, you know, routine where he thinks he's this teen idol, but he's not really this guy, and he's maybe starting the the, the, the beginnings of the the head character and the crazy person. Uh, you have Leaf Cassidy win and go over and try to start his career. Maybe he wound up doing something with a title or something. All right. Then uh, Survivor Series '96 uh, is the pay per view after that. Still have um, HBK lose the title to Sid, just like he did in real life. And, um, or well, you had uh, uh, In Your House buried alive, but you keep that the same. Survivor Series 96, though, I would have, uh, just like I said, Sean losing the title to Sid, but I would have Marty and Leaf Cassidy uh, captaining Survivor Series teams. Um, you could have put them together with, uh, there was a couple of bad sort of Survivor Series matches. You had the, the Billy Gunn versus um, Bart Gunn storyline, so maybe we keep that the same. You sort of had the tag team match, which was supposed to originally had the New Rockers in it. Maybe you have Marty and Leaf captain the, um, you wouldn't want to mess with the Rocky Maivia uh, intro spot. Maybe it would be, uh, you know, with uh, Vader and Razor Ramon and Farouk, the fake Diesel, and, you know, whatever. We could have worked it out, but they could have been captains of their own respective teams, even if it was maybe two heel teams, and um, been against each other, and then book that however you wanted. Maybe since Leaf had the previous win, Marty wins, and he's always winning Survivor Series or something like that, you know. Then I would keep that the same all the way through Royal Rumble 1997 when Shawn Michaels wins the title back from Sid, just like uh, he did in real life. And then I even went farther on than that uh, with pay-per-views, trying to see what would I would change, and it wasn't really anything crazy like that. The only thing that I did different was, um, you know, letting Marty win the title younger or earlier, having that new Rockers feud, which we never got to see, having those big... Shawn Michaels and Marty matches on pay-per-view, which we missed out, and to have him integrated a little bit more in those um, more main event feuds. I was never really positive on booking Shawn Michaels versus Marty Jannetty for the Royal, for the world title, even though I tried. I was thinking about it, but it just uh, it never made sense. So I didn't want to just make him win everything and be a world champion forever. But uh, I thought I could, and I thought uh, you know that some of the other stuff would have went differently. But uh, you know. I think that a lot of that makes sense, if it makes sense to any of you. So, you know, that's my thoughts. It's already a half hour, and um, I just wanted to get that out there to see if it, you know, if anybody agreed with me and if that uh, meant anything to anybody else. All right, so thank you so much if you watched it, and have a great night.